Hey pretty girls, it's All Things Pretty and I'm coming to you with the last NaNoWriMo writing collab video with Poet Spice here on the YT and I am so excited, so excited, so excited for this to be the last video of this collab and not because I didn't enjoy it because I thoroughly enjoyed it but because now we're entering into a new phase when I have so much going on that I absolutely know that if I had taken on this challenge in December, um, I probably would not have been as successful as I was. So let's get started in, sorry, I had a itch on my nose and I missed my nose. Okay, so let's get started with the update video and I'm looking down at my nano notes here for what we should do for our last video so did i win nano technically i did not win nano meaning i did not hit 50k i wasn't even close to 50k i ended up with about fifteen thousand some odd words um i want to say like fifteen seven sixty three or something like that some weird number and you know what it's okay. It's 15,763 more words than I had when I started. Although I really, really wanted to finish it. This was my second nano attempt. The first nano attempt, I had just learned about nano. I had no clue really on, on tips or what to do. I just jumped in there and then I failed like within a week because I didn't have the resources or I didn't have the community or the network to know, you know, what to do, who do I seek out. So this time was, I think that's a little bit better. This time, my girl, Poet Spice, hey, hey girl, she was dragging me by my puff. See this right here? She was dragging me, dragging. She would text me, what you doing, girl? nothing uh word sprint in 10 minutes yes ma'am i was there and we did word sprints i think we did two word sprints and i kind of think she was getting ready to egg me into a third word sprint but she could probably sense that i was just not there but she still went ahead and did her her thing when um when i didn't bite as i really think that's where she was going with it but I was so spent, she didn't even ask. Um, I had some things going on in my family at the last stretch and that took me out of pocket for about a week or so and I had to travel and it was just a lot and my mindset wasn't there. I think that had that not been a distraction, I probably would have at least gotten three fourths of the way. That's what I feel. Um, I would like to say thank you to you, Poet Spice, because I feel like I did what I could because of you. Your encouragement, the idea to host this uh, challenge and you pulling me by my puff and texting me, what you doing? And saying, let's go. I just think that that meant a world of difference for my success. Now, how are you successful if you didn't complete Nano with 50K? Well. If you haven't seen my other videos, which I will link up there or in the description box below, you will know that one of my other goals was to write a children's picture book. And I at least wanted to get those words on the page and I did. I successfully completed my first rough draft, very, very rough draft of my children's story. So I was successful in that aspect just not successful in reaching 50K. But a success for me is that I wrote. And I really said that at the beginning that I at least wanted to write consistently or almost semi-consistently for the month because if I was consistently writing every day, I would have hit the goal. Okay, so let's see, highs and lows. The highs were the number of resources that I was able to get off of different discount websites, uh, following a lot of nano videos on YouTube, 
the ladies that I was in the collab with, G Brody, Shannon, Caper, um, Terry, O1, um, Poet Spice, all of the ladies were fabulous. I mean, everybody was like, keep going, you can do it. We got this, woo woo, cheering each other on. That was the high. Um, additional high was, of course, completing my first picture book, The Rough Draft. Now to go ahead with the pictures. And I do have my, what's the word? Drawing a blank. I'll just say my mock-up for who my character is going to be. So that was also successful. The lows were that after a long day at work, it is really, really hard to come and get my butt in a space and write. It's just hard. Um, as an, an English teacher, former English teacher, now high school librarian, when I get home, my head space is like, I need to veg out, de-escalate, craft, or do nothing just mindless behavior. And so knowing that I had to come home and make sure I bang out this 1,660 something plus words per day wasn't always feasible with my son has to go to practice and my husband's working late and I have to go to this meeting and I have this obligation, but I need to get these words done. It is a lot, it is a lot which now I can understand why people tend to quit their jobs and just go for it because it's a lot. That That is a full-time job is doing that writing. I definitely don't advise anyone to quit their job and write. I'm not saying that. Not that it's a bad thing, but unless you're financially set up for that, I am not encouraging you to just jump off the cliff. Would be a beautiful thing, but be prepared. Let's see. Um, the collab was very helpful. I will definitely do it again. I hope and pray that Poet Spice does this again next year. Um, I know there's a summer camp that they do along the way and several other things that I may decide to participate in. But the biggest thing that came out of this is I can I will continue to write. And that is my goal, to continue to finish the novel that I started. Overall, I loved it. I feel like I got to know the ladies a lot better in their journeys in who they are and everyone being more open. And I'm super excited. I think that we can continue to encourage each other to head towards whatever personal goals we have. And I'm looking forward to what comes next. So I do want to say this, my nano video videos are my lowest watched, viewed, rated videos ever. And I do understand that because this is my crafting channel. But for those of you that followed and, and watched and supported, I thank you. And there's one person who follows every video. Her name is Karen. I think it's Karen Blake. Karen, hey girl. Thank you so much. She comments on every, every video. Crafting toenail picking whatever it is she comments on it thank you i want to thank y'all for watching and for tuning in and i truly appreciate your support and now back to crafting let's go